Hi everyone, this is Riley here. Have you actually wondered what happens to your CPF savings today if you were to pass on without doing up a nomination? Happy money! So I've spoken to one of my elderly clients recently asking her whether has she done it uh, for her CPF and she told me that she hasn't because she finds it um, quite troublesome and there's no need to because the money will be transferred to her family members after she's gone. So is that really true? All of us is highly encouraged to do the CPF nomination, but why exactly is it so important? Three points. First one, CPFs are not covered under a will. So how your CPF savings is being distributed depends on whether a CPF nomination is made. Second thing, without having a nomination done up, the CPF savings will be distributed by the public trustee. PTO will then charge a fee uh, for the unnominated savings depending on how much is left behind. When you have a valid nomination, it provides so much convenience to your loved ones because the CPF board will actually get in touch with the nominees within 15 days upon receiving the notifications of the um, person's death. So this will actually help to save time as well as save costs, providing more comfort in terms of, um, you know, for your loved ones. I'm going to share a few more in the next video on some of the key things to take note when you do CPF nominations. So keep a lookout. See ya!